Hello, dear students, this is your teacher Alejandra, and this is the class of week number seven. Modal verbs of obligation in the past. Modal verbs of obligation in the present, the auxiliary verbs must and have to are used to express that doing something is obligatory, you must go, prohibited, you mustn't go, or not necessary. You don't have to go. In the past, however, those distinctions are lost because must, unlike other model verbs like can, could, may or might, has no past tense form. So how do you talk about things that were obligatory? We use have to, didn't have to, could or couldn't, were allowed to to talk about obligations in the past. Example, present. I must remember to call my hairdresser for an appointment. My hair is huge. The past would be, I have to remember to call my hairdresser because my hair was huge. Okay. As you can see, instead of using must, we use have to. Okay. And we also change the verb to be. Instead of using is, we use the past form, which is was. The second example. I have to work late tonight cutting a client's hair. The past would be, I had to work late last night cutting a client's hair, okay? Instead of saying have to, we change using the past form of have, which is have, okay? The third example, present. You mustn't tell David our secret, Matt. Instead of using mustn't, we're going to use the following. You weren't allowed to tell David our secret map. Okay? Weren't allowed. Example number four. Present. You don't have to tell me his secret map. Okay? Instead of using don't have to, we're going to use didn't have to. Because the auxiliary verb we use in past is did. Okay? So, you didn't have to tell me his secret, Matt, but I'm glad you did. Let's compare obligations in the past and obligations in the present. Obligations in the present. The present of have to or don't have to. In positive, they mean a strong obligation, possibly from outside, okay? For example, children have to go to school, okay? It expresses a strong obligation because they have no option. They have to go to school. Sometimes have got to, which is used in British English, okay? And the negative of have to or don't have to. It expresses no obligation. I don't have to work on Saturday, in, on Sundays. It means that I have no obligation to work on Sundays. You don't have to eat anything you don't like. Okay? You don't have to. Okay? Must or mustn't. They express a strong obligation, possibly based on the speaker's opinion. I must study today. Negative obligation. You mustn't smoke here. Should or shouldn't. It expresses a mild obligation or advice. For example, you should save some money. And in the negative form, it expresses a mild negative obligation or advice. You shouldn't smoke so much. Obligations in the past. 
The bus stop had to or didn't have to. Bus stop. It expresses an obligation in the past. I had to wear a school uniform when I was a child. Okay? The negative. No obligation in the past. We didn't have to go to school on Saturdays. Okay? We didn't have to. Okay? And the positive. I had to wear. Must. Must changes to had to. Okay? Should have plus past participle. Shouldn't have plus past participle. It expresses a past action which didn't happen. The advice or the regret is too late. Example. You should have gone to bed earlier. Now you have missed the train. The negative. It expresses a past action which didn't happen. The advice or the regret is too late. You shouldn't have taken the job. It was a bad idea. Thank you. If you have any question, here's my Gmail account. Remember to write down everything on your notebooks. Bye.